citizens literally placed in the driving seat of economic activities. This is through a new empowerment program in the transport sector, where 140 vehicles comprising saloons, minibuses and light trucks have been given to citizens from all the 10 provinces as loans. President Hakainde Hijilema has overseen the launch of the program, which is under the Citizens Economic Empowerment Commission, CEEC, through Minister of Youth and Sport, Elvis Kandu, who represented him. So through accessible financing, we are enabling our citizens to own these and many other facilities as a way to empower them to participate in economic activities. I also want to indicate that these are some of the government programs aimed at reducing poverty at household levels as there will be some direct jobs such as driving and other opportunities. President Hijinema emphasized the importance of loan repayment to ensure the sustainability of the revolving fund so that others can benefit. I want also to stress that the need for recipients and Zambians in general to develop the culture of paying back loans so that other people can equally benefit from revolving funds like this one. And Acting Minister of Small and Medium Enterprises Development, Ruben Mutolo, said the Transport Empowerment Program will enhance the entrepreneurial spirit among citizens, especially young people. From 2022 to date, through CEC, the ministry has supported 82,327 businesses countrywide, contributing 845 million into the economy. Help the government assist others by paying back the loans so that other people can also benefit. CEEC Director General Muwe Mungule said the empowerment program includes citizens living with disabilities. This is a project finance loan with a maximum amount of about 500,000 kwacha and offers an affordable, competitive and easily accessible solution with a flexible repayment plan of up to five years and an interest rate of 12% per annum. And a beneficiary from the Copper Belt, Wizen Amposia, who runs a transport business of ferrying school children, has aided young people to consider entrepreneurship and help government create jobs. Today, I'm standing here to say thank you to the president, the stakeholders, the government for boosting my business. I now can say that I have five vehicles plus the minibus that is parked over there in blue. Masaoso, Mukwaya, ZNBC News, Lusaka.